there. Welcome back to the OT Guide. I'm Dana, your OT Guide, and today we are tackling a common toddler behavior, saying no nonstop. But why do toddlers do this? Well, it's actually a very normal part of their development, and this phase usually occurs around the 18 month mark and is most intense until they're about three or four years old. Toddlers are discovering their sense of autonomy and independence, and saying no is a way for them to assert themselves, test boundaries, and establish their own identity. However, dealing with a constant stream of no is extremely challenging, so let's talk about some ways you can reduce this behavior and, and promote more positive interactions actions with your little one. Strategy number one, and probably my favorite strategy you can incorporate right now is offering your toddler choices. I usually recommend two. So instead of asking yes or no questions, give them options. For example, instead of asking, do you want to put on your shoes? Try saying, do you want to wear the red shoes or the blue shoes? Frequently giving your child choices will give them a sense of control and will help reduce the need for them to say no to you. That being said, it's not going to work every single time. Your toddler still might say no, even when you offer them choices. So this leads me to my next favorite tip, which is set clear and firm boundaries and try to do this without emotion. For example, let's go back to the shoe situation. If you say, what shoes do you want? The red ones or the blue ones? And your toddler says no, then all you're gonna do is say, okay, mom will choose. I choose blue. And you put the blue shoes on your toddler. Will they be happy? Probably not. Is that okay? Yes. We're doing this because we are showing them what behavior is expected and what the consequences will be if they continue to say no. And the consequences are they lose their choice. Mom or dad gets to pick which shoes they wear. Doing it this way helps our youngsters learn limits and boundaries. Also, it's important to execute this without a lot of emotion, and this is for a few reasons. First, it will help you avoid a power struggle with your toddler because you're actively not escalating the situation and it helps you maintain a sense of authority without the need for raised voices. Second, by not reacting emotionally to your little one's frantic energy, you are modeling good emotional regulation. We want our toddlers to learn how to handle situations calmly. And this is exactly what you are showing them. Last but not least, emotionless delivery promotes respect. It shows that consequences are a natural outcome of a behavior. We all face consequences. They're not a punishment inflicted out of anger or frustration. My next tip is to get into the habit of using positive language as much as you can. Now, I'm not saying you can't say no. Just hear me out for a quick second. Instead of saying, don't jump on the couch, try saying, let's jump on the floor instead. Now, why? Well, the first reason is, our toddlers are like sponges, so if they hear you say no all the time, they are also going to say no all the time. The second reason is because phrasing your instructions positively lets them know what they're doing isn't right, but also gives them the space to see another option instead of shutting down. And the last reason is because you want the word no to reserve its power. When we say no to our kids, that means no. But if we're constantly saying no, don't do this, don't do that. Our kids will learn to tune that word out. Save the word no for more important occasions so it reserves its potency. For example, an important occasion could be, um, let's say your toddler hits you. P.S. they're going to hit you if they haven't already. That is normal, so deep breaths. This is a great opportunity for you to say firmly in your teacher voice, that's what I call it, no. Hitting is not okay. We use nice hands with people. We can hit our pillow. And then you pick them up and you put them in a timeout so they can see that there are consequences to hitting other people. Next strategy, teach your youngster other responses to help them self-advocate. So often toddlers use the word no because their vocabulary is just so limited. Teach them other phrases that help them self-advocate that are a bit more specific. Like, I don't like that. Stop, please. I need help or I need space. So you can better understand what is going on with your little one when they are expressing themselves. Next strategy, forecast when they will say no and outsmart them ahead of time. Toddlers often say no when you ask them to transition from a preferred activity like watching a movie to a non-preferred activity like bath time. Make sure you give them ample warnings instead of just expecting them to transition seamlessly. So if they're watching their movie, put on a visual timer like a sand timer, or you can even download visual timers on your phone and say, once the timer's all done, it's time for bath. Let your toddler flip the sand timer themselves so they buy into the transition. Next up, a favorite strategy of mine is called strategic ignoring. 
When your little one is saying no nonstop, you don't always need to pay them any attention. Instead, give your child loads of attention when they're engaging in positive behaviors instead. For example, let's say they don't want to eat a vegetable on their plate and they keep saying no. Just keep eating your food, model eating your veggies. Now let's say they eventually show interest. Immediately praise them for their willingness to try something new. I know it might not feel like it, but you are doing a ton of parenting by strategically ignoring your toddler's poor behavior and waiting for the moment they are engaged in a positive behavior. Last but not least, stand your ground. There will be times when you need to stand your ground with your toddler. If they remove themselves from a dangerous situation, you're gonna need to move them. It's important to be firm and consistent with your boundaries. In conclusion, dealing with a toddler who won't stop saying no can be so challenging, but remember it is a normal part of their development. Use strategies like setting firm boundaries, forecasting the no to prevent it from happening, using positive language as much as you possibly can, being emotionally calm and neutral, and then also strategic ignoring to promote more positive interactions with your child and support their development. Anyway, I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any questions or would like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all here next time. Bye.